Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another Zane's View. In this other Zane's View, this is going to be about my new Dell Latitude E6410. Now the main reason I'm doing this is because I actually run Linux. I know no one's really going to care that much about it because this is a wrestling channel. No one cares about Windows or Linux or Mac. You care about talking about Ric Flair. You care about Hulk Hogan. But I had to do this because as a person who runs free and open software, I'm hoping to learn something and I'm hoping to get some information on getting new technology because in my case, for all the years that people have been seeing my channel, I have been doing editing and video rendering on an old, nine-year-old Dell Inspiron 6400. Yes, the laptop I was using to render my videos and do intros and audio with it was on an old nine-year-old laptop. I had to buy something because I had a computer before that broke and blew up while I was out of work. And I managed to find that laptop for like $170. And it lasted me two, two and a half years before it finally died. So I decided to buy myself a new laptop, which is in this one. And I give a warning to anyone if they never use the HP 15 F00 D no 4 DX don't ever buy it it is sluggish it may work alright with Windows 8 to a certain extent I tried it but even under that it was slow and sluggish Linux it's sluggish so it was pissing me off I couldn't read in my videos I couldn't edit my videos so I decided to get a new laptop and this is my baby right now. Now, right now, this laptop is running Linux Mint 17.2 Mate 1.10. Now, it just came out, so pretty much I don't expect it to be perfect on here. And to be honest, I don't know if I'm going to keep it because I'm still considering the new Cinnamon 2.6. Now, for anyone who's never seen a Latitude up close, I'm going to show you. Hang on a minute. This is the Latitude. It's made out of metal. Mine is all scratched to hell. Whoever had it scratched it up. On the front, if you can see with this bad lighting, you currently have a SD card reader. On the side over here, you have an eSATA. Well, you got two USBs and one is an eSATA, which is kind of cool, along with a VGA port. And what I understand about eSATA is I'm still understanding about it. If you have an old hard drive that has the the SATA ports built into it. You plug this into it with the eSATA cable and if you set your bootloader you might be able to actually load your old hard drive onto your computer. It doesn't mean you're gonna put the stuff onto your hard drive. You're just gonna load it from that hard drive. That's at least what I understand about it. Anybody knows about that? Leave a comment below. It's got a Kendinson lock. Kendin Kendinson lock. Sorry. I'm tongue-tied. <laughs> the thing I like about this laptop is got a display port. Now with people, if you don't know what a display port is, essentially speaking, it's the next stage past, well, HDMI. It's actually supposedly very, very good. But not all laptops got it. The business one do. You got eSATA. I'm taking out my my dongle so I can use my mouse. You can see two more USBs, a mic and headphone jack and also next to a DVD player you actually have a switch for your Wi-Fi which I think is kinda cool. Now I'm gonna open it up and you can see the magic because that's all you really came to see if you care about Linux and you care about this actually running Linux Mint. And as you can see right here if I can zoom in properly, you should be able to see it. Let me see if I can zoom out a little bit. That is the Linux Mint Cinnamon menu. The only thing I don't like is that for some reason with Mate, everything loads sluggishly. Now admittedly, I have not set the swap yet. If anyone knows about swap, to try and speed the thing up. 
but you can actually see right here that is the mate menu I don't really have anything loaded on this laptop yet I'm still experimenting with it to know what's the best thing to put on this thing because it is an old first generation Core i5 it is not really the new one here here's never put you can see it for yourself Hang on, no sound. And as you can see, it is running never put. I like putting games. Also, I have on here Open Arena. I am not a good first person shooter. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, I suck. And usually I'm not playing a lot of games. I'm usually editing video or trying to convert a video I found on the, on the internet that I want to save. So video games is not my thing right now. But as you can see, hell, hurt me plenty. As you can see, it is working. And I can't move because I'll be putting my hand in front of the camera. But I wanted you to see that it is loading. Hang on, I'll move a little bit. Hopefully you can see me, but you can also see I'm going to get... Ah, I'm getting shot. And I'm dead. Yes, I wish to exit. As you can see, ladies and gentlemen, if you wonder if a business laptop like a Dell Latitude E64 or 65 or 66 series can run Linux well I know that when it comes to the 65 or the 60 I think the 66 you might have a little problem because the Nvidia cards from what I understand are not always completely reliable with Linux but if you want to get an E64, it is working. It is slow with Mate on here. That's something I have to work out, but it does work. As you can see, Firefox, I don't have anything hooked into Wi Fi. I just actually I turned off the Wi Fi. But essentially speaking, for anyone who wants to run Linux on a business class computer, if you didn't know, you can do it. So I hope you enjoyed this Zane's view. Please give me a comment below. You could tell me anything about Linux. I'm still like maybe above novice. I will be hooking this one up and replacing my HP F00. I believe it's 4DX. Wait a minute. It is 4DX. I believe it is 4DX. Don't get that laptop. It sucks with the AMD drivers. You have a good day and have a good night.